I am in first grade um, in San Rafael. Seven-year-old Lily Arcili loves Ramona La Chinche, Spanish for Ramona the Pest, and has read the children's classic in both English and Spanish. It's about Ramona and, <coughs> and kindergarten, and she's, and, she's, and she's learning more about her school and she's figuring out what she's supposed to do because it's different than preschool, and, it's, and she's in kindergarten, and she's still thinking and, and while she's there she meets a boy named Davy and she wants to kiss him. Lily switches easily from English to Spanish and expresses her ideas and opinions fluently in both languages. She is a first grader at San Rafael Elementary School and is part of the school's Spanish dual language immersion program that begins in kindergarten. Lily's a fun kid. She's um, one of those children who came to school really ready to learn and is open and really a sponge. She just takes everything in. But I think the other thing that I love about Lily is she asks questions. Nothing is um, sort of off limits. So if she doesn't understand something, well, what does that mean and why? And she will think about something and um, try to figure it out and make sense of it. Students in the program come from all types of cultural backgrounds. Some speak English at home, while others speak Spanish or Mandarin Chinese. It's important for students to learn in two languages. Um, first of all, because they're becoming bilingual, uh, biliterate, and bicultural students. It's an appreciation of a culture other than their own. Um, the other big reason is that there's a lot of studies that show children who are bilingual and biliterate um, tend to be better problem solvers, tend to be better critical thinkers, and there's a lot of brain development that happens once you are able to, to read, write, and speak in two languages. I truly advise other parents to be able to accept bilingualism, the importance of it is within our culture, and just in the near future for them to be able to give them that opportunity to go to university, be able to communicate, be knowledgeable not only in the language but also culturally and, um, and just being diverse academically. An active and supportive parent-teacher association steps in to support the school. On a recent day, San Rafael students held wallabies, frogs, snakes, and hedgehogs during a presentation of exotic animals. The assembly was sponsored by the PTA to connect classroom lessons in science and reading with hands-on activities. My name is Allison Beecher. My name is Celia Torres. My name is Julie Silk. I am Lily. And I am. And I am. I am. I am. P-U-S-D. 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 P-U-S-D.